Ah, do you recognise the face here? Oh, of course you do. That's me. I'm Dave Benson Phillips, and I've been involved in an amazing project to bring multiplication tables and good music to your ears. That's right. This is known as Math Machine, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it with the help of a headmaster and a group of children. So, who thought of Math Machine? Well, I can tell you it's these two people, Roger Hillier and Gene Stevens. Basically, what they're doing is putting together some great music, some great songs, and using the times table as well. You can learn it a bit like a chant. Pretty good idea, really. Yes, this is your own, your very own King of Calculations, Master of Mathematics, Turner of the Tables. It's Dave Benson with Dave's Math Machine. Here come the two! Listen and you'll know the score. Two times two and that makes four. I'll show you some clever tricks. Three times two now that makes six. Get together with your mates. Four times two that comes to eight. You don't need to use a pen. Five times two exactly ten. Doing the, the rapping on the, on the CD. Stuart. Dave Benson Phillips. Dave Benson Phillips. How did you like it? What was different to the. Joseph. It's funny if you like learn the song, then you can um, then you can know what it um, actually adds all up to. Right, you know your time tables pretty well. He learns loads of sums. Right. Can we just get that, Max, and listen to this one? You've got someone who has got charisma. Uh, who would know how to work up an audience and he's working the children accordingly and they'll respond to that, they'll enjoy it, they, they'll want to be part of it, they'll listen to it um, and at the same time without even realising it they'll be learning their tables and that's why it'll be successful because they won't, they won't think of it as a maths lesson they'll think of it as a piece of fun, as a piece of pop music but the learning's going on at the same time and that's why it has value. I liked it when he said the rhymes because it made you dance. There have been musical simple to nursery type rhymes uh, for learning tables. But now you've moved up a level, you've done something which is cool, made it fun, you've made it trendy, uh, and so children in school will make use of it. Do you understand what he was saying? Yes! As soon as they realise how quickly the children respond to it, it will get the teachers themselves saying, hey, this works. And whatever works, teachers will adopt it very, very quickly. What else did you say? Traditional methods work with children, and you, and you cannot dump those in the slices, but you have to be brave and try something new. This is something new. The children will enjoy doing it, uh, and I think it's, 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 it's well worth introducing it to school. A kayak or a small canoe. Two times seven, that's twenty-two. In river, lake, or on the sea. Three times seven, that's thirty-three. A new way that you could explore. Four times eleven. Through the water you can glide. The music's really good. Sometimes it's quite funny. Boring tables are like really boring and then you just have to write them down. With that one you don't have to write them down at all. You can just listen to the CD and then you can just know your tables. When you listen to it you don't just um, listen to it, you learn stuff as well. And so I think it's a good way of learning. I do. I like it, I like it, I really do. I, I want to buy it actually. Yeah, I think it does work. I thought it was really funky and I, and I really liked it because it would help us with our times tables. I think it was really good. They've all been saying, can we do it again this afternoon? I like every bit of it really, I don't have a favourite part. I just liked it. They're accompanying a uh, TV personality uh, with the necessary rhymes and uh, repeating those number skills. So, oh yes, it, it works, it works. No two ways about that. And that's how the 11 times table goes, y'all. You can do it anywhere. Well, there you have it. The kids have said great things. The headmaster said great things as well. And uh, this is the part where I get to add in my two pences worth, so here goes. Um, when I was young, I had a real problem with mathematics. And in particular, one of the things that I used to hate doing was reciting the multiplication tables. I absolutely hate it, even to the point of whereby I was a little bit worried about being involved in this project. But once Roger Hillier and Jane had actually approached me about the project, and I realised how they were approaching it, 
how could I refuse? You think about it. Nice hip hop rhythms, nice pop rhythms, and the multiplications in there as well. It's education, it's entertainment. It's edutainment, I believe the word is. Edutainment, mate. So if I were you, take it up now. Dave Benson Phillips' is Math Machine. Get it. Use it. One day you will need to know. All right. Captain Lisa!